Alright, last round of elaboration is uh, as far as with the student loans, like I explained, is I want to bring up a lot of uh, students go to college and end up graduating from college and can't find a job. Now you got all these job losses, so therefore you got the degrees, but you don't got the job, but the government got the money. Does that make sense? <laughs> You got the degrees, don't got the job, government got the money. Do you think they're going to refund the money seeing that you can't get a job with the degrees you have? I know so many people with two and three degrees who work in a nine to five job which requires manual label or at a, Mc at a McDonald's or a warehouse job because they can't hardly compete or can't hardly find jobs that require the degree that they have. And the jobs that do require the degree or the degrees that they have, the positions are already fulfilled. So that means that's money that you just gave to the government. Now it's not necessarily a loss because the education part of it. You did go there for education and of course you earned a degree, you majored and got a master's or whatever and received education. But why is it once more as I said that colleges should get taxpayer money and tuition money? Why is it? Does isn't it like double taxes? That's like double taxes when it comes to college taxpayer money and tuition money so a tuition tax which goes to the government plus taxpayer money so these institutions that have been created for people to attend to are actually money institutions for the government institutions to build up money and revenue for the government to collect because a lot of people graduate with those two three sheets of paper only to come out empty handed <laughs> I mean empty handed only a few are fortunate enough to be have good job positions after they leave from college but there are a big majority who are struggling to try to find a decent job or a job that is open in the field that they majored in struggling trying to find a decent job so all that money gone because the job wasn't waiting for them the job wasn't even waiting <laughs> boy 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 but anywho folks let's help y'all getting plenty of insight just helping open your eyes a little more to the reality of what we facing in this country but like I said those females FEMA concentration camps right now in Mexico. I'm surprised. I wouldn't be surprised if they got a lot of Mexicans over there in uh, concentration camps are trying to put them over there because of all the rioting and all the chaos. But it will happen in this country. Mark my words, people. It's going to happen. Because times are getting harder and harder and more and more difficult in this country. And as long as as jobs continue to decrease, as long as the economy is struggling, as long as America is continuing to fall apart with all the different in infrastructure projects that need to be done, people I want will want to get out of here. Get out of here, get out of this country. People will want to escape and get away because they like, I cannot be locked in this situation. I cannot be in here. This country is finish capiche that's why I'm you know need to start saving my money up make sure I'm in a clear on taxes and uh, not possibly a terror suspect etc so I can make a trip to Jerusalem that's why I want to go <laughs> I want to go to Jerusalem but because of the mosque of Miriam in Jerusalem it's like but according to scripture, you know, it's holding on a story as far as me explaining it. 
But uh, I guess I'm gonna wrap it up there, brothers and sisters. And uh, like I said, I just want to give you insight. I made wanted to make sure I covered every little detail and aspect about what's going on with this AIG and the loans and the banks, how the government trying to use us like we mules. The more of us they have, the more of us can help pull the weight of this country. And that's why they're trying to use us right now to help pull the weight of the so-called bank failures. They're trying to use us to pull the weight. Once again, we looked at as the mule. So-called Citibank and AIG and all of them losing money so they trying to depend on us so they trying to crack the whip on our backs by causing us to work a whole lot harder to keep up with the tax rates so now we gotta bust our butts even more that 800 or 900 or 1000 or however much money check is gonna get chopped even more where well, you gotta work extremely harder to try to keep up with the finances in your home you got a budget, your budget's got to become, or our budgets, got to become a lot more tighter because of the high tax rates to bail out these, <sighs> whoever they are. I was finna say something else, but, you know, I'm like, you know, I'm just leave it alone. Nimcom poops. <laughs> whoever they are, but anyways. So, like I said, we got to work a lot harder because of them. So, once again, keeping our money to ourselves, tax rates go up, locking us in here, denying us a passport, crime rates going up, we don't want to be here, we sick and tired of living in this restricted environment, going back, like I said, to the 1964 civil rights movement, blacks got tired of it, they got fed up, caused the riot, now black, white, Asian, Chinese, American citizen who is a victim those or we who are victims of the scandals that go on in the government we are the victims the taxpayers we are victims they prey on us to benefit themselves they prey on us but if we keep our money to ourselves and we leave this country and leave these government officials and corrupt congressmen by themselves, this country will collapse and fall. It's falling anyways, but it will fall a lot more rapidly if we decide to keep our money to ourselves and get out of here. But you know why that won't happen because before that happens they gonna try to increase the passport denial they gonna try to lock us in here America is going to become a prison America will be a prison you watching to see that's even part of scripture as well America being a prison you know, Jesus even speak about people trying to escape people trying to escape so I'm gonna get locked in here it's going to become a prison. Matter of fact, nah. <laughs> I was like, you know, I ought to retitle it. Retitle my video segment, America Becoming a Prison. <laughs> but elaboration, prison, have a have a. But anyways, this officially a wrap up. I think I covered everything I wanted to get out. But, uh... Like I said, brothers and sisters, be prepared. Try to give you insight and keep you informed. Like I told somebody recently, I typed on a text comment about me getting hits on my videos. I'm like, hey, I'm not on here to get famous. I'm here to make the truth famous. And hopefully eventually my videos get out there and I do get more views where people can receive revelation and the truth. But as a lot of people been typing to me, I was led to your videos. Or I found your video. So maybe God keeping my videos concealed. Revealing my videos only to those who earnestly wish to seek the truth. So as always, I depart by saying since my time is out. Peace be unto you. And Christ for life. <laughs>